this movie from Jason Rutland Internet Business Consultants shows you how you can check to see if your site complies with the W3C standard. W3C is the World Wide Web Consortium and they lay down all the standards for the internet. If we go to their site, www.w3c.org we can see that if we scroll down we have a couple of validators here CSS for cascading style sheets uh, these are files which will give your site a common look and feel uh, without you having to encode the, the format into every single page you just put it into one file and reference it from every HTML file and every, every page looks the same the HTML validator checks to see that your hypertext markup language is compliant. So if we click on the HTML validator first, we get the screen and we can just enter in a URL. And click on check and that will go and load the page and run it through the validator. And here we go, it's validated my my page and it says that I've passed validation so I've got valid XHTML 1.0 on this on this page and if we look down here it will say congratulations and I can now include these icons on my site so I can pick either the yellow or the blue and all I have to do is copy and paste this snippet of HTML code and embed it into my pages that conform. If we actually go back to my home page we can see where I've done this if we scroll right to the bottom and if I click there it will actually take me back to that page and validate it so any visitors to your site if you do include those uh, icons they can click on it and just check to make sure that you are actually uh, conforming to the standard so if I just put another URL in here Microsoft and then revalidate that. Now that's loading Microsoft's page and running that through the validator and we can see what it says is that this isn't valid and it's HTML 4.0 so they've tried to uh, conform to a different standard but there's some things on their site which uh, aren't, co aren't compliant and it tells you exactly which bits are throwing up the errors now this doesn't mean that the page won't work, it will still work, but it just it isn't compliant to the standard that's been laid down. So the importance of this really is not only is it good practice to be compliant with the standard, but it helps with your search engine optimization. If uh, a search engine comes and indexes your site but it notices that you don't conform to the standard, it will enter that into the formula and it's possible that your uh, position in the search engines could be jeopardised against a very similar site who was uh, compliant with the standard. If we go back to the home page I'll just show you the uh, validator for the cascading style sheets and it's very very similar so we click on the CSS validator and enter the URL in here click on the check button and we can see that my cascading style sheet isn't actually uh, compliant to the standard and I can see here that cform.label is something that when I added a, a contact form to my website the code that it's generated, the style sheet code, isn't actually uh, compliant with the standard so I've got these errors and so I don't have the right to put in the CSS valid badge. If I go back and I'll put in a URL that I know is valid, Zen Garden is a site which promotes the use of CSS files on the internet, so not surprisingly they are valid. And we can see that congratulations, no errors found, and the uh, offer of putting the CSS icon and similarly I'd 
cut and paste that text into my own HTML if I wanted to use that icon. So I've shown you two simple ways you can check to see if the code you're generating or you're writing is compliant with the standard. Uh, for search engine optimization, we recommend that you go for HTML 4.0 transitional. Uh, there are many standards that the W3C lay down and we recommend that that is the one you aim for.